Okay, it's because why not? I'm gonna try to go over how to change a grease cartridge in one of these things. Anybody who knows anything about these, if they haven't been taught, then they probably dumped grease all over in their face. So, you run out of grease, this is what you gotta do. This particular type, you gotta slowly pull this thing back and it takes some doing and there's no way to do this without getting greasy just keep pulling it back until you'll get to a point where that little indentation is and that goes up in that little groove now most important thing this must stay in that groove because if it pops out it's spring loaded it's going to shoot that way and if you're in the middle of putting grease in it it's going to spit all that grease all over the place so don't hit that anything mind it make sure that thing stays there there are some uh, that have a little lock piece of lock fastener thingy in there you push it you just pop them up and it holds on to it but this old type like this you're on your own then you gotta unscrew this thing top comes off now it's not under pressure at the moment because the spring is pushed down let me get a nice look like that Get a hold of the tube, and it comes out. Whatever your flavor was. So, they got a nice empty tube. Can't really see in there. There's a rubber seal in there with a spring attached to it. Take your new grease, whatever you got. Plastic cap comes off the top. Plastic cap comes off. The open part goes in the tube. Now, this is where you really don't want to mess that up. Now you pop the top on the grease. Pull that off of there. And this is the part. <laughs> Careful of that in. Get that top and screw that sucker back on there. I have done these without any kind of locking mechanism on them. But it's really a mess. All right. Tighten that back up. Now you can pop that back over. Sometimes you can push them up there. So all that does is go up inside. The spring's got it now. So sometimes you'll get grease. Sometimes you get air in there. And there's this little in this particular one. It's got a little air, little BB thing in there. You push to get the air out of it. But in this case, it's starting to get some grease so there I got grease starting to squirt out of there I'm good to go so if you do, all you get is air in this particular type you push the little thing in there until you get some grease squirting out of there you know what that one didn't cover me in grease at all no, I'm impressed all right that's pretty much it if you don't uh, Make a big mess. You're good to go. Beauty. Oh yeah, and duh. That one doesn't do it. And there's this one over here. It's actually got a button to push. That'll let the air out too. So you might just do that until the grease comes out of that hole like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Two different ways. Plus, once you start pumping this thing, it'll generally pump all the air out of it anyway. But it'd like to be nice to get all the air out of it before you start pumping grease into things. Anyway, that's the basics. The main thing is to watch that uh, spring-loaded thing at the end. Otherwise, you'll get the whole thing of grease right in your face. All right. That's today's warning on tools. Very good.